First Timothy chapter six. First Timothy chapter six. Hallelujah. Certainly we can say that we have been blessed so far since we started this service. And there are yet blessings to be received if we turn up our bucket. Verse Timothy chapter six. I will begin from verse seven. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a sin here, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But though, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. We are unto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God who quickened all things and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontus Pilate witnessed a good confession that thou keep this commandment without spot and rebuke him until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who which in his time he shall show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only has immortality dwelling in the light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will stop here. I have read a very well known um, passage of scripture from first epistle of Timothy. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And that is so true. Whether or not you have had the opportunity to see a baby born into this world. When they come in, they come empty handed. Hallelujah. So all that is accumulated is after birth. Hallelujah. And the Bible is telling us that we brought nothing into this world. And I can attest to that. I've seen more than one baby coming into the world. And it is certain that we can carry nothing out. And all of us can testify of that. For we have seen people die and they put them in their little coffin. Whether it is little or extensive, and some people make it glass and you can see them when they are carrying them to their eternal rest, resting place. And they don't have anything. It doesn't matter how rich they are, they, 
they know that they can abuse the wealth over there. So it has to be left for whom are on this side of life. And the Bible says, and having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Some people say that is not ambitious to just be content with food and raiment. But a simple lifestyle, just food and raiment. Then what about the car and what about the big house and everything else? I guess um, the writer, when he wrote this, People were in distress and they were not thinking about some of the things that we're thinking about now. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a sneer and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men into destruction and perdition. And if you know some of the, the things that rich people are doing, I have heard some things that I could not even repeat that some people are doing in the name of seeking after pleasure and after joy. I wouldn't want to even think about them or even to repeat them. But people are doing some very horrendous things, disrespectful. And those are the things that sometimes people say bring pleasure to them. For the love of money is the root of all evil. And you can spin it over and turn it around. The Bible says so. Time pass. Some people would say money is the root of all evil, but it's not money. Money, money cannot do any evil of itself. But the love of money, the thief that come to steal and to kill and to destroy, it is because of the love of money, and they want to get gain that they have not worked for. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, coveted after, they have erred from the feet. So we're talking about some persons who were in this way. And that's talking about the entire world. No, we're talking about some people who started in this way. And because of the love of money, they have coveted after money and they have heard they have turned back and gone to something else. They have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But the old man of God flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. And the exhortation is for everyone is online. Likewise, to flee these things and to follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meaning. And this next verse here, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold an eternal life. We unto the Lord also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. All of us are in this fight. Hallelujah. And we need to fight a good fight. It is a good fight. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That is the fight that we are in. Hallelujah, spiritual fight. We are in a warfare. You cannot see, you will not see guns like what you see police or the soldiers carry. For it is a spiritual warfare. Our weapons are not carnal. Our weapons are spiritual. Hallelujah. But we have been instructed to fight the good fight of faith and to lay hold an eternal life. Hallelujah. Let us not pretend that we have had it already, that we have it past, and that we don't need to do anything. We need to fight 
Hallelujah. To maintain our salvation, we need to fight to please God. We need to fight against the wiles of the enemies. Hallelujah. And don't pretend that we are all right, but we are not. Hallelujah. We need to get the discipline to fight. Hallelujah. You know, I have always compared soldiers that I see on the street and the policemen, how alert the soldiers are, and the policemen tend to, they will, both of them will turn their back to, to a crowd. And they are not aware that um, people can get them that way. On the other hand, the soldiers will be protecting one another. You will not see both of them turn their back to the crowd. They are always expecting that something can happen. And that is the same way we have to be expecting, hallelujah, if we are in this fight, that something can happen. Look out for the next fight. Look out for the weapon that is coming against you. Hallelujah. And we are in a good fight. Hallelujah. That is what the scripture says. Fight the good fight of faith. And lay hold on eternal life. We unto the Lord also call. Sometimes, Pastor Brian usually say, let the main thing be the main thing. Let us not get sidetracked to other things. For the main thing where we go to church, the main thing where we read the Bible, the main thing where we got baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the main thing where we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, all of that is to prepare us, hallelujah, for heaven for eternal life, oh glory. So let us not get sidetracked with anything else. For if we, if we miss heaven, we miss everything. It doesn't matter how prosperous we were in this life, if we should miss heaven. Hallelujah, we would have missed it all and have an eternity to face without God. So let us fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. Hallelujah. And know that we are not alone in this fight, but our Lord, our God, hallelujah, also arm us to fight this battle, hallelujah. And he is the one who is really doing the, the fight for us. For we of ourselves cannot fight this battle, oh glory. But if we are prepared to stay in this fight, and to the end of our journey, we are going to make it in. Hallelujah. There's nothing that can prevent us from being victorious. Hallelujah. If we have God on our side, we have everything. Hallelujah. And if we use the weapons that we have at our disposal, if we use them effectively, we're talking about faith, prayer, Hallelujah. And all the other weapons. Breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. If we use them effectively, then we are going to win this war, this battle. Hallelujah. And we will come out victorious. Hallelujah. Well, let us take heed to the word of God. And we are further instructed that 
you should keep the money made without spot and rebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his own time, in his own time, he shall show, so he, he doesn't have to haste anything, for he control eternity, he control time. Hallelujah. He shall show who is the blessed and only potent faith. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. But when you hear some men speak, it's they pretend as if they are so powerful. And yet, the Bible says their breath is just in their nostril. It doesn't matter how powerful it is, they, they want to speak. But that is not too far away from any of, any of them or any of us. Many people even like go to their bed and don't wake up. So let us know that we have to look to the only potent thing, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. For he only has immortality. Hallelujah dwelling in the light which no man can approach us. No man has seen or can see. No man in his natural state can see him. I could be able to stand in his presence. Hallelujah. And to him we give honor and glory and power and dominion. Hallelujah. And we can say, reign, Jesus, reign, King of King, King of Zion, Lord of Lords. We appreciate you. We love you. We adore you. And to you, we pay homage. Hallelujah. For you deserve the glory and the honor and the majesty and the power. And there is none to be compared to you. Hallelujah. And we know that we have a future. We have a home secure in the heaven, eternal in the heaven. In this one, we groan. Earnestly designed to be close upon with our, with our house, with our building, which is above. Hallelujah. So we are going to make every effort to please him. Hallelujah. If we have made any mistake, we are going to correct them. Hallelujah. So that we can appear before him, spotless, blameless. Hallelujah. At that day, when he shall put in his appearance, when he shall call us home. Hallelujah. Let us endeavor to please him. Let us endeavor to live for him. Let us fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. And let us lay hold on eternal life. We are not going to let his path pass us by. We are going to grab onto it. Hallelujah. And know that we are but frail creatures. But if we believe in him, if we live for him, we are going to gain strength, hallelujah, for this journey, oh glory, hallelujah. We are going to endeavor to please him in all things and put this flesh on a subjection that the goodness of God will manifest in us. And that the power that is in us through the Holy Ghost will take control, take charge of our life. Hallelujah. Glory. Shama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to serve him. We are going to live for him. Hallelujah. 
We are going to give him of the best of our service. Hallelujah. Until he call us home. The Bible says, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of men. The joy that awaits us over yonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have we experienced joy? We just have a foretaste of glory. We don't know what is true joy. Hallelujah. No wonder the song says, what will it be when we get over yonder and join the throng upon the glassy sea? Hallelujah. We want to put our bodies under subjection that the spirit that liveth in us, hallelujah, will control our being, hallelujah, and will make us, hallelujah, hallelujah, like unto him, hallelujah, who call us from nature's darkness into his marvelous light of salvation. Oh, glory be unto his name. He's worthy of all the honor and the praise and the worship and the glory that we could ever give unto him. He deserves it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to ensure whatever it takes that we please him. Hallelujah. And that we deny our flesh the opportunity to keep us down and let him have his way in our life. Let him have his way in your life. Hallelujah. And those who are awaiting the baptism of the Holy Ghost, he's available. Hallelujah. You only need to open your heart unto him. Hallelujah. And just let Jesus have his way in your life. The song say, oh, oh, let Jesus fix it for you. For he knows just what to do. Whenever you pray, hallelujah, just let the Lord have his way and he will fix it for you. Hallelujah. That is why he went to Calvary's cross so that he will fix it for us. For we were on our way to destruction. Hallelujah. But he has purchased our salvation. And now we can sing. Thank God now. I've changed my life. My burdens of sin. I've laid them aside. And I'm walking in the perfect life. Hallelujah. Not because we were worthy, but because he has set his love upon us. That is why we have this great privilege to be called the sons of God. Hallelujah. And years and joint years with him. We are going up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And those who have died and died in Christ. Hallelujah, they are waiting for the first resurrection. And if we live long enough, then and he's ready to come. Hallelujah, our vile bodies are going to be changed. Hallelujah. And we are going to take our heavenly journey. Let us fight the good fight of faith and lay hold an eternal life. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us to do so. Thank you for your attention. And at this 